I'm Rosie Pope, founder of Rosie Pope Maternity and Mum Prep. You're about to meet Rosalie Hunt, a labour and delivery nurse that's assisted in literally thousands of births, including the delivery of my son. She's going to be teaching us Infant Care 101 to include bathing, diapering and swaddling your baby. Hi, welcome to Mom Prep. I'm Rosalie Hunt, Mom Prep expert, labour and delivery nurse and childbirth educator. Today we're going to be going over Newborn Care 101. So we'll start with the bath, then go on to diapering and swaddling. We're going to start with the sponge bath. You're going to do this bath until the umbilical cord stump falls off, so usually around day 10. Preparation is key for the bath and for diapering. Make sure you have everything you need with you. So you're going to have two washcloths. One's going to be a soapy washcloth and one's going to be to rinse. You're going to have your baby shampoo, a bowl of water, a towel, and then a towel for drying the baby off afterwards. So I usually start with the head, go from head to toe and bottom last. I start with the hair. Babies like to have their hair washed, but they don't really like being exposed for the whole bath. So we'll start with the hair and the face. You can either do this part under the sink or you can do it with a bowl of warm water. So you take a little water, splash it on the baby's head, and then a few drops of baby shampoo. You can rinse, and then, there we go, rinse off. And then from there, we're gonna wash the baby's face. So a baby doesn't need a bath every day, but it's good to wash their face around under their neck, behind their ears every day. Just dip a washcloth in a little warm water, no soap, wash their face under their neck and behind their ears. So you want to do that every day. And then we'll proceed on to the bath. So we'll lay our baby down. And this sometimes can be a two-person job, especially the first few times you give a bath, you may feel like you need an extra set of hands. So we'll start with the soapy washcloth. So just take one washcloth, dip it in some water, and add a few drops of soap. And then we already did the face and the neck, so we're just gonna take from head to toe, just the chest, torso, legs, their back, and their bottom last with soapy washcloth. And then another washcloth, this is just gonna be to rinse. So you dip this one in just water, and then rinse their torso, their arms, their legs, and their bottom. And just bring your towel up over your shoulder and bring baby onto that towel and dry them off. So that pretty much concludes the sponge bath. Again, this is until the umbilical cord stump falls off. Then after the umbilical cord stump falls off, you can go to the regular tub bath. So I've already pre-filled the tub with about two inches of warm water. Again, warm, not hot. And you don't have to fill the tub all the way up. Just a little bit of water. Anytime you're giving the baby a bath, you want to make sure that you keep one hand on the baby the whole time and that you never leave a baby unattended in the bath. So I usually put my hand underneath the baby's neck like this. Then I rinse baby off, a little bit of the warm water. Babies usually really like the bath. And I take one washcloth and just rinse their face, wiping their face underneath their neck, behind their ears, working from head to toe and the bottom last again. So from the head, you're gonna rinse a little bit of water over the baby's head, just making sure not to go over the baby's face, just towards the back of the head. Add a few drops of baby shampoo, rinse, wash, there you go, and rinse. And then taking your washcloth, adding a few drops of baby soap on that, or baby shampoo and just washing their torso underneath their arms, down their legs, and around their back, and bottom last. Then you can either take a squirt bottle if you like and kind of rinse the baby off, or you can use a cup. Then you're gonna take your towel, bring it up over your shoulder, and lift baby up out of the tub onto the towel, drying the baby off. And that finishes our tub bath. So now we're gonna go into diapering and swaddling the baby. So to check a baby's diaper and to change it, say, looks like the baby had a poop. So you wanna wipe from front to back, just with this diaper. I think it's a good idea. You can use the top part of this diaper and wipe from front to back, kind of contain that poopy diaper inside. That way you have a clean surface to work on. Always make sure you have your extra diapers handy and your wipes, because inevitably the baby is peeing and pooping while you're changing them. You wipe from front to back, that's really important, especially with baby girls. Front to back, there we go. And then we'll bring our new diaper, 
slide it under them with the tabs in the back, and then tuck the top part down. Keeping track of how often the baby's going to the bathroom is a really good idea. It's a good thing to tell how much food the baby's getting. They're probably gonna at least have one dirty diaper in 24 hours. They're probably gonna have lots more than that, but it's good to make sure they at least have one in 24 hours. For wet diapers, it goes by day of life. So day one, in the first 24 hours, they have one wet diaper. Day two, two, day three, three, day four, four, day five, five, and day six, six or more wet diapers a day. After day six, they should just continue to have six or more wet diapers a day. If the baby hasn't had a pee or hasn't had a poop in 24 hours, that's something to call your pediatrician about. If the baby does start to have a diaper rash, you can use diaper rash cream. The best way to prevent a diaper rash is changing the diaper frequently. If you notice that the rash is spreading quickly or oozing, that's something to call your pediatrician about as well. So now our baby's all diapered, good to go, and we're gonna show swaddling. Babies love being swaddled. So you wanna have your swaddle blanket. I usually just take a regular swaddle cloth and fold the top part down. So it's like a diamond with the top folded down, so you have two sides and a bottom corner. And you're gonna lay that down and bring baby on top and align the baby's shoulders with the top fold in the blanket. Usually bring the baby's arms together in the front, and then bring one side up over baby, and tuck it under their back and their bottom. Babies like to be really snugly wrapped. Then you take the bottom corner, bring it up and underneath their shoulder, and then the other side comes up and around underneath the baby. So this creates a womb-like environment, makes them feel secure and snug. So now your newborn is happy and swaddled. And that's the end of Newborn 101. Now you know how to bathe the baby, diaper, and swaddle them.